Hi there, this is James Swanick, and you're listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast, where you learn how to take back control over alcohol and live a life of health, wealth, love, and happiness. Stop trying to quit drinking and start trying to drink more water. If you change your language, you can change your life, you can quit drinking and stay quit from drinking. I'm James Swanick from the Alcohol Freedom Formula, free resources for you down below. So people get this wrong a lot, they're saying I have to quit drinking, I need to quit drinking, I shouldn't quit drinking. The moment you start using words like I should, I need, I have to, there's a very heavy feeling around that. And so what happens is, is that you start to focus on not doing the very thing that you don't want to do and then you end up doing that very thing that you don't want to do. So the more you say I've got to quit drinking, I need to stop, the more you will drink because you're thinking about it. If we change our language to I easily only drink water, I only drink soda water, I get to, be I get to easily and beautifully drink this non-alcoholic drink, then we're telling our mind what to do versus telling it what not to do. Let me illustrate this for you, okay? As you're watching me right now, I want you to close your eyes. So don't watch me on the, on the screen right now. Just close your eyes for three seconds, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, close your eyes. Do not think about a pink elephant. All right, open your eyes. Now chances are you thought about a pink elephant, but I told you not to think about a pink elephant. So why did you do this? Well, because the mind and the body doesn't understand when you tell it not to do something. But if you tell it to do something, it's more likely to take that action. So as this relates to your drinking, as you continue to say, don't drink, I shouldn't drink, I can't drink, I need to stop, I'm gonna quit, then you just keep focusing on the drinking and then you're likely to just keep having a drink. But if we change it to, I easily only ever drink lots of beautiful ice cold water or soda water with a piece of lime or a mocktail or these beautiful fruity drinks, all these amazing non-alcoholic drinks and we just focus on what we will do, the chances of us staying alcohol free remain. There are some free resources for you down the, below this video where you can learn my formula for quitting drinking and staying quit. Tens of thousands of people now have quit drinking as a result of using my formula. But changing our language patterns, like we just went over, is just one of a series of tactics that you can uh, execute on to quit drinking and stay quit. We deal with things like how to socialize without drinking. A lot of people have a concern that they need to do business deals with networking with clients. Other people are like, well, I'll lose my friends if I quit drinking. How the heck am I gonna have fun if I'm not drinking? What do I do instead? So there's lots of little um, uh, tactics and tricks that you can um, that you can use to help you navigate those situations and not just navigate them and get through them but actually be confident and fun and energetic and love being alcohol free. I haven't drunk since 2010 now and since then I've got the relationships that I always wanted, the body I always wanted, I looked the way nature intended me to look, I started two very successful businesses that have made millions of dollars. I got my dream job hosting a television show, Sports Center on ESPN. I've traveled the world. I do what I want, when I want, how I want. And I'm not saying that it was all because that I quit drinking, but I'm also saying it's all because I quit drinking because before I quit drinking in 2010, I was the guy who was just, you know, six out of 10, feeling all right but not really getting anywhere. And then the moment I quit alcohol and I found out the system and the formula to stay quit from alcohol was when all these amazing things happened to me. I really want that for you. So there's some free resources down below. Click on those to get started. I will show you how to quit alcohol, but most importantly, stay quit. Because you can quit. You may have actually gone 10 days, 30 days, six months, but you haven't been able to stay quick. You haven't embedded it as a lifestyle. And the lifestyle of alcohol freedom is where all the beautiful things in life happen. More energy, clarity, focus, relationships, freedom. We all want freedom. So stop trying to quit drinking and start focusing on the drinks that you will drink, which are non-alcoholic. Stop focusing on I need to, I have to, oh my goodness, I gotta quit. And now start saying yes. I get to drink this beautiful water. I get to have this soda water. I get to be alcohol free. This is awesome. Change your language, 
change your life. Please comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. Like the video right now, subscribe, because I know you're gonna want more videos like this. I got plenty of them. Search around my channel right now and you can see more videos on how to quit drinking and stay quit. All right, I'll talk to you on the next one. Thank you so much for listening. I have some free stuff for you. If you go to jameswanick.com forward slash guide, I will send you my formula for reducing or quitting alcohol. If you'd like to watch the video versions of these episodes, then you can watch them at my YouTube channel, which is at James Swanick. If you'd like to send me a direct message on Instagram, you can do so at James Swanick. If you would like to try a three-day challenge, a free three-day challenge, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash three-day challenge. If you would like to try the 30-day no alcohol challenge, you can go to 30-day no alcohol challenge. If you would like to schedule a 15-minute exploratory call with one of my coaches to see how we may be able to help you in your alcohol-free journey, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash schedule. And my request is, if indeed you enjoyed this episode or you have enjoyed the podcast, would you please go ahead and rate the show in iTunes and would you please write a review? A review might just be a sentence saying, great, listen, hey, this was fantastic. Oh, I really enjoyed this. Whenever you give a rating, whenever you write a review, it surges our podcast up in the rankings, enabling more people to see it and hear it and potentially inspiring someone out there to reduce or quit alcohol and potentially transform their life. So yes, while it does help me to get ratings and to get reviews, you will actually be directly contributing to helping someone's life by having them discover this podcast. So if you are open to inspiring others and to helping me in the process, would you please go ahead and give this episode a ranking and would you please write a review? Thank you so much for listening and I will catch you on the next one. Oh, 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 o